bought this one with a bad transmission. It's got low hours on it. I believe it has somewhere around 200 hours. You turn this on, it says 198. So that's pretty low. My other little lawn tractor, it's got somewhere in the neighborhood of 500, 600 hours on it. So I picked this one up thinking, I bet it's just something little in the transmission that I can fix. So I bought it from a guy and uh, he tried to fix it and had poor success, poor results. And I thought, well, I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm a motorcycle mechanic, auto mechanic. I bet this will be no sweat. But I was still kind of intimidated. He said that it just needed some differential gears. He showed me a little baggie of them uh, that he had ordered from a guy online. They were wrong. And so he says, this is all it needs. And then I started to watch the videos to get a little bit of a background. And I'd really like to thank um, a few different channels. Uh, there's a video by Punch Your Eye Hole. Uh, I'll put a link right here. He did a video on rebuilding one. It was pretty good. But it moved around. It was a little far away. I couldn't really see very good. I looked at another one by 65 Ford. And I'll put his link right here. Basically everything I learned about these was from these three individuals. And the other one was Double Wide Six. I'll put a link to his video here. He's got a series of uh, several different videos and his was the most helpful and confirmed what the guy who I bought the thing from. So without further ado, let's tear into this. I'm going to show you what I've learned. I've cleaned it up. I've put it together. I've done my homework. And now I've got something to share. If you go to John Deere and you say, hey, I need parts for the mower transmission, they're like, oh, great, no problem, we'll sell you that. It's about $800, anywhere from $660 if you buy it online. I've seen as low as $580, it got snatched up off of eBay. Uh, used ones are about the same price, like between three and $600 for a used transmission. It's a K46 or a K40 or a T40, just depending on who you're getting it from. Because uh, the, the dealer at John Deere, they want to sell you the whole thing. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, but you can get the parts. You see across the top here it says Tough Torque. That's the company that you contact. They're actually in Tennessee. Uh, they're in Talbot, Tennessee. But anyway, they're happy to hook you up. You make you do a username. If you go to toughtorqueservices.com, you can get the parts that you need there. Uh, so that's great. That's the good news. And the parts aren't too expensive. They're very reasonable. Um, I replaced the transmission filter here and also these differential spider gears. So the spider gears, the set of all four gears is 25 bucks. The filter is about 10 bucks. You can see it's just full of all kinds of nasty yuck. This is that pull rod that you use to put the transmission into neutral or drive so you can push it around or be able to make it go under its own power. So you need to have it pushed all the way forward. So this needs to be all the way forward and I'll show you why later. There's a teeny tiny little pin that you don't want to lose that that's pushing on, on the motor. I'll go through the vocabulary a little bit with you on this a uh, little bit more detail as we go. So from the top, uh, this is your pulley, the drive pulley, input pulley. Uh, this is your vent cap, your filler cap, or drain cap if you're going to attempt to change the fluid. And here's the deal from John Deere, they put crap oil in this and that's what blows them up. Uh, Tough Torque recommends that you use something that is a synthetic 5W50. Now they've got their own special brew, but basically it's going to be something like this that says 5W50. 